It's the second week of the Season of Opulence, and it is also the weekly reset, so I will be going over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the second week of the wonderful Season of Opulence, and it is also the weekly reset. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of June 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what videos that you want to see actually on the channel. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, we are going to go ahead and start off with the challenges. As we have on the Traveler, we have Ikora, which you need to complete 20 of her bounties, as well as uh, earn 5,000 XP for your clan. Callus' Treasure, which we need to locate in open chests, as well as uh, forge two weapon frames. Coming down to Titan, we have the uh, Heroic Adventure as well as the Flashpoint for the week, which you need to complete Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you complete the Heroic Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, you need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions. As for the Strikes, you need to complete three Strikes. Modifiers this week are Arc Singe, Blackout, and Grenadier. And then you need to complete a nightfall or a nightfall uh, and a nightfall with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are Warden of Nothing, the Paramidian, and the Hollowed Lair. Probably the Hollowed Lair would be the easiest or fastest to complete. Probably both. Coming down to Gambit, go ahead and get 100 of the progress for the Reckoning as well as uh, complete four Gambit Prime matches. And the same goes for actually three Gambit matches. And I still haven't even uh, done any private matches in this at all. As for the Crucible, the uh, mode for the week is Showdown and we need to complete five Crucible matches. And you could do so in any of these except for the private match. And last but not least, we have the Dreaming City. Petrovenge is located in the Strand, and we need to go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. And if you guys do not know about Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, go ahead and click on this because this thing is amazing. I will be doing a video on it very soon. Uh, giveaway for July 2019 and beyond will be for Destiny 2 Shadow Key. So definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for us this week. Always good to see you, Guardian. So we definitely have a lot of new things here. Um, the weekly offerings do change, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and look at these first. We have Stolen Goods which is an ornament for the truth. That's interesting. Oh my God, that looks amazing. I wonder if it tracks just as good as it did in Destiny 1 for Destiny 2. Then we have the uh, Proteus, which is a ship. Kind of looks pretty badass. I actually want one, but I'm not gonna spend silver on it. Then we have the uh, Clean Sweep, Looks pretty interesting. Uh, then we have the PS1 shell. Interesting. I wonder if... Uh, ooh, that shell looks awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I actually like this shell. Comes with Amity Tenebatry and two random mods. Then we have the Stylish Sit Emote. I was actually going to say something else. <laughs> oh, God. And then we got the best of year one engram bundles. Yay. Coming down to Bright Dust, we have your Fire Team Medallion, the Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, Gleaming Boon of the Crucible, the uh, Bloody Truth Shader, as well as the Broken Bird to be Healed um, ornament. 
for the Ostringer. Looks pretty cool. Actually, looks like a Hawk Moon. Uh, a little bit. Then we have the Gothic Horror, which is the ornament for the Karnstein Armlets for the Warlock. Looks pretty cool. And then we have another ship. Yay! Free skin. Coming down to the seasonal. So it looks like the seasonal stuff will not change. This is always going to be here 100%. So if you want to go ahead and grab these, go ahead and do so because these definitely will not change at all. But you'll be paying a premium price for these versus uh, waiting for it to actually be bought with Bright Dust. This is Archive, everything uh, that you have or have not bought from the last season. And then last but not least, your Bright Dust items. Or another section of Bright Dust items that is on a timer actually. We have uh, Static Shock. That's pretty cool. Then we have this wonderful looking ship. Yeah, that's really not so wonderful looking. It really. <laughs> I can't even say this is a reskin because it's not. It, it just looks sad. Then we have the Intrepid Discovery Vest for all the characters. Uh, the Ultraviolet Weapon for the Borealis, or Ornament for the Borealis. Oh my god, that looks so much cooler! Oh my god, I want one. I want one now. And I don't have enough Bright Dust. <sighs> then we have the End of Days Ornament for the Through Fire and Flood. I'm gonna save my Bright Dust. We have the Queen of Hearts ship, which is Cade 6's ship. Miss you, Cade. Definitely miss you. Then we also have the Lost Sector Projection. A little projection above your ghost. Yay. Consumables. And we have the Royal Welcome shader. I still like this shader. It looks pretty badass. I actually like it on this character, and I might just go ahead and grab it. Since it matches perfect with the uh, Shards of Galanor ornaments. And then we have the Eldritch Effects. As well as another shader, Arctic Pearl. And then last but not least, your Gold Beam Effects. And that, my friends, bridges to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.